Somewhere in the distance, you can hear Gigguk screaming about a tournament arc, and honestly, I wouldn't blame him. This is already probably one of the greatest tournament arcs that have ever existed in anime for one specific reason. This is designed to take like six months to a year. You know, the, these, these battles, you gotta win 40 of them, right, in order to even get a chance at the top. And because they're so strenuous, I mean, shit, man, even the best of the best probably need to take a good weak breather every so often. And while he hasn't done it yet... You think he's not gonna do it in less than four days? He's scheduled ten fights per day for four days to get to that 40 capstone. And the worst part is... For the people he's going up against, whatever he's done training-wise is probably the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen. So the best uh, opponent that Rick has gone up against is his first opponent in the kind of like, just the little training round trying to figure out where you are. And she literally has to wave the flag to tap out because his first move of just... You hit the legs in a way that's not actually going to hurt you, but he's so fast, he just, you can't, you, is he just hitting the air? Is he actually moving? Who the hell knows? And the man he goes up against, who pretty much pulls the equivalent of bringing brass knuckles to a fist fight, uh, he shatters his arm because this man's body's made out of adamantium, I'm convinced. And what does he do? His secret move number two out of eight, where you don't hit him, it's just the wind pressure that basically rocks your brain so hard that you probably go into a coma. This is the greatest, greatest show. Best tournament arc. Full live reactions over on Patreon if you want to see my full and thought to any of these episodes, it's over there exclusively. Now, you know me, I've been absolutely loving this one. I was sad I couldn't watch it last week, but the wait was worth it. I'm pretty sure most of these damn delays are all due to the Olympics, but you know what? The Olympics ain't got shit on my boy Rick, that's all I'm saying. You bring him to the Olympics, uh, he's getting every damn uh, gold medal. Uh, so, this is basically a Paper Mario arc. Um, as someone who recently beat the Thousand Year Door, immediately this just gave me the impression of when I played Paper Mario, and one of the levels is basically you go through a sporting event, a, a wrestling ring, in order to get a belt so that you can get a gem, which is one of the gems to go into a door to unlock the thousand year door. And what is the arc in this episode? We need to get a, we're trying to find, you know, these gems, one of which is in the belt of the champion. And how do you get a belt from a champion? You gotta become the champion. It just, it just speaks for itself. I'm not saying either one is the most original arc. I'm just saying this is definitely a Paper Mario arc and I absolutely enjoyed it for it. It's funny though, because what I appreciate about the champion is while, of course, most people don't look at Rick as being the big boss of this world, right? Because obviously, he physically has strength, but he doesn't give an aura off the same way, you know, Big Boy Orc does, in, you know, if you're standing next to him. But I have to say, I appreciate the fact that he's like, this man clearly pushed his body and is strong, but he doesn't have aura, but he's unknown. That's a little detail that I think isn't going to be appreciated in this episode, but he did like the one thing that pretty much no character up to this point has done, is immediately just recognize that like, hey, he's strong, but not intimidating in terms of what I'm seeing, but he is an unknown. Admitting that he's an unknown means he's open to the possibility that this dude could be suppressing big dick energy. Now sure, people in the crowd can also say, you know, we can't write people off, there's been underdogs, but it's just a different level when it's someone that we're probably going to have to fight. But it's interesting because the plan is for both of them to take on two different sections, and the way the tournament's structured, if they all win their battles, I mean, eventually it's going to be Rick versus our big boy. And honestly, I don't know who will win because as it stands, Rick isn't the strongest from that group. He can be if, like, his aura goes off the charts, but that seemingly only activates in, like, life or death situations currently. So, I'm interested. Uh, it would be interesting if Rick came close but lost and then our big boy comes in and, you know, just takes care of business. Either way, though, pretty cool stuff. Like, this show has actually evolved a fair amount over six episodes. The first few episodes, in a way, almost kind of felt like a tournament arc, even though it was more of a test-type competition. 
And then obviously with the backstories and everything and just learning more and Rick actually acknowledging that he's strong. Like, here's the brilliant thing about the formula now. Our boy knows he's a lot stronger, but he's also still an idiot. So he can recognize that like, oh, you know, this girl I'm fighting, I know she's super talented. The last time I fought her, she was doing these crazy maneuvers. We, of course, know those crazy maneuvers were her stumbling and he thought it was a hard to read move. So him literally going out of his way to say, okay, you know what, like I thought, you're real talented, so now I can go all out and she has to tap out. Like, stuff like that. You can clearly still have the comedy be completely unhinged and have him be a dummy, but I appreciate the fact that he's actually confident now. Having that confidence does change our perception of Rick as a character. So as Rick, basically Gladiator, I know it's Gladiator, but, you know, Rick Gladiator's in a goddamn Coliseum tournament. It's just fantastic. Just really funny stuff, interesting change of pace, uh, and just immediately has me super excited because the idea of like collect, I don't know how many there is, eight I think? Is it eight that they have to collect of these stones or six? Something like that. Either way, the idea of like, you know, kind of like being able to traverse this world, getting those, and then just watching Rick evolve and most likely become the biggest, baddest bitch known to man is just really exciting. And I love the idea of having characters who started off so bitchy now become pretty much just you break common sense like i forget the exact phrasing but it's something about how he just defies common sense like we need a character like this in the show i parry everything who can also say that to that character nor you parry common sense it's just like i appreciate having that crowd interaction of being like bro this just makes no sense once again this dude makes no sense and i'm shooketh like that's the like, they're just completely shook if by the lack of common sense in the best damn tournament arc known to man. Honestly, I, I'm still surprised. I will actually say this is one of the bigger surprises of the season. Not saying this is my overall favorite or top five of the season. Probably in a top ten if we're being honest. But it's the fact that this show, it doesn't have the craziest look. It doesn't have the craziest character designs. It doesn't have the craziest appeal at face glance. But every step of the way, this show has become one of the most entertaining and damn do i look forward to mondays at least when it airs i mean of course things happen and we didn't get episode last week but still you get my point it's just this show is a damn banger and i'm so excited to see how a year's worth of fights get done in four days thoughts down below be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new around here, of course, ring that bell, and like I mentioned, we got those full live reactions over on Patreon, and hey, while you're over there, I'll also give you a video shout out. Alright, so today we got Damien Shezik, Big Deval, Adler2704, Shasu Passen, Jacob, A. Barrett, What's Down, and we also have Tommy Jameson, so I appreciate the support, everyone. Please take care, and y'all have a good one.